Hello everyone and welcome back to Rev Explorers. I am Abhinav Bhatnagar and today we have with us the Pulsar P150. motorcycle has been derived from the new engine lineup that Bajaj has introduced with the N160. So let's find out if this is the worthy successor of the Pulsar 150. From the first glance itself, I can say that this looks good because in the front you have LED projector headlamp with LED DRL and then you get bulb turn indicators. The motorcycle features lighter alloy wheels just like you see on the N160. They are 17 inch and in the front you get a 90 by 90 section tire and at the rear is a 110 by 80 section tire. The motorcycle is offered in two braking arrangements, single disc and double disc. Both of them get single channel ABS. So we have the double disc variant and in the front you get a 260mm disc brake and at the rear is a 230mm disc brake. With that, the motorcycle gets telescopic forks in the front and a mono shock suspension at the rear. Just like all the other pulsers, this one also gets a 14 liter fuel tank. And powering this motorcycle is a 149cc two valve fuel injected air cooled engine which is mated with a 5 speed gearbox now this engine generates a maximum power of 14.5 ps at 8500 rpm and has a peak torque of 13.5 newton meters at 6000 rpm the complete motorcycle weighs 140 kg which is on a lighter side and with that has a ground clearance of 165 mm which is decent enough for this motorcycle and the best part is it gets a underbelly exhaust let's check out how it sounds So the exhaust is bassy. This motorcycle is offered in 10 different colors and has two variants as I've already told you. But with the variant, the seat also changes. So in the dual disc variant, you have a split step up seat and in the single disc, you have a single seat. At the rear, you have LED tail lights with bulb turn indicators. Now let's hop onto the saddle. The saddle height is 790 mm. The saddle is slightly on a stiffer side, but it is good enough. I don't know why 790 feels slightly higher to me right now. Maybe because the seat is not really tapered. If you are above 5.6 or 5.7, you can easily ride this motorcycle. For your reference, my height is 5.9. Now let's check out the instrument cluster which has been carried from the N160. So as I've said, the instrument cluster is same as the N160. So you have a tachometer in the center. Then you have all the tail T lights on the left hand side and the right top side. With that, you have a digital instrument cluster which has the speedometer, gear position indicator, time, fuel gauge and then you also get the other telemetrics like distance to empty, average fuel efficiency, instantaneous fuel efficiency. On the handlebar, you have the kill switch and the self-start switch on the right hand side and on the left hand side is the headlight control, the pass switch, the turn indicator control and the horn. Also, this motorcycle gets a USB charger with a single tone horn I feel this is a worthy successor to the Pulsar 150 because it has got all the latest usable tech and I don't think so it will disappoint you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you like this motorcycle, you can get it starting from 1.16 lakhs X showroom Delhi. We are going to come with a ride review and then we are going to test out if the performance is also same like the Pulsar 150. But for that, you'll have to stay tuned to our channel, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And we are also available on Instagram. So go ahead and follow us over there as well. We'll see you in the ride review soon. Till that time, take care. Bye-bye.